This is the largest collection of chameleon diamonds ever brought to auction. You have a little ruby for the eye, the ears are made in yellow gold, you've got white gold, and you have a little emerald there in the tail. It's a pin, it's a brooch, you can wear it in your tie, a lady can wear it, you can wear it on your lapel. But it's just, it's a wonderful example of a beautiful, beautiful sapphire, unheated cashmere sapphire. star of the show, this is a very, very rare um, chameleon diamond necklace. So you've got nine stones, nine chameleon diamonds, the largest of which is a 4 carat 02, the smallest of which is a 0 0.70 carat. GIA decided that this was rare enough, special enough, unique enough for them to provide a, uh, a portrait, which they've done. So it comes with its accompanying book, all the certificates. The beauty of chameleon diamonds is very little is known about them. So they remain an enigma, they remain a mystery. They'll change color dependent on light and dependent on heat um, and a combination. So when we take this out the safe in the morning, the safe is obviously a lot cooler and it's pitch black. We open it up and we bring it to, to daylight. We look at the stones, they're very dark and gradually, it takes about an hour, a couple of hours, the stones warm up and they become a lot lighter. This is the largest collection of chameleon diamonds ever brought to auction, 13 carats. Um, so it's not enormous, but then chameleon diamonds are never, they're never huge. A lot of them are green diamonds, uh, a lot of them are yellow diamonds, and so they tend to, they, they occupy that space in the olive green yellow, and that's how the color change. One of my favorites, the spider. Uh, this is crafted in white gold, unsigned. Here we have a star sapphire, so we've got an, a, a six-point asterism coming out of here. This is about a four carat 80, just under five carats here. You've got some uh, pave diamonds set around that. It's a pin, it's a brooch. You can wear it in your tie. A lady can wear it, you can wear it on your lapel. It's, it's cute, it's cute and it's fun. Um, and this is 55,000 Hong Kong dollars. Moving on to something a little more whimsical, a little more fun. We have the elephant ring. So this actually spans two fingers. So your pinky goes through there, second finger goes through there. We've got, it's about a six carat emerald um, on the back. And this is sold as a, it's a two piece lot. We've got about a two carat emerald here um, sold together. For me, the appeal is this ring. Um, the way that the trunk goes round, it's, it's whimsical, it's playful, it's lovely. You have a little ruby for the eye. The ears are made in yellow gold, you've got white gold, and you have a little emerald there in the tail. The low estimate for this set, this uh, two-piece lot, is 90,000 Hong Kong dollars. This is a, a one-carat 82 cashmere sapphire. Uh, super interesting, this one, because the mines in cashmere, so, First discovered, stones were first discovered there in the late 1870s, early 1880s. They worked the mines pretty much night and day during the summer months. Then there was a pause. They'd mined everything. Things kind of disappeared for a while, but then the mines were continued. The area was continued to be mined sporadically until late 1920s, early 1930s. Um, but the glory days of the 1880s. So these, the best stones really came from the 1880s, um, that, that initial period. Collectors today, very, very keen on cashmere um, for the rarity, for the scarcity and for the color. Um, this is a, an absolutely striking example of a cashmere. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive, so we have this in for 130,000 uh, low estimate Hong Kong dollars. But it's just, it's a wonderful example of a beautiful, beautiful sapphire, unheated cashmere sapphire. Thank you.